Okay, so change the numbers a little bit. Let's go with 4 over a plus 3 equals 7 over 5. And we want to find out what a is. What is this? When a fraction equals a fraction, we call that a... When a fraction is set equal to a fraction, we call it what? We've been talking about it all day. Proportion. A fraction equaling a fraction is a proportion. How do I solve this proportion? Valentino, how do I solve this proportion? How do I times it? Cross multiply. So I'm going to take the 5, times it by the 4, and then I'm going to take this a plus 3 and times it by 7. So 5 times 4 is what? What's a plus 3 times 7? And now try to get a by itself. What do I do? trying to get A by itself. Oh, I thought 20 had It's all right. So negative 1 equals 7A. Divide by 7. And we end up with what? Is it okay for A to be a negative number? Yeah. What can't happen, though, is if I were to plug... Um, my a negative number here, and this became a negative number. I can't have a negative side of a triangle, right? So, yeah, but this time it's okay. And so then if I plugged it in, it would be proportional. So if I went 4 over 2 and 6 sevenths, that should equal 7 fifths. So, let's try that. So, 4 divided by, let's do that around the world deal. So, 7 times 2 is, 7 times 2 is, plus 6. So, 20 over 7. And that equals 1.4. Now, if I type in my calculator 7 divided by 5, I get 1.4. They're proportional. They equal each other. So this is 1.4, and this is 1.4. They're proportional. I checked my work. Here I solved it, and here I checked it. Let's try something like number 9, because that looks really scary to me. So let's go with... The square root of 2 over 3 equals the square root of 6 over, I don't know, C. Like, really creative and imaginative there. How do I, what is this called, first of all, Kincaid? This is called, when I have a ratio set equal to a ratio, proportion. Add a kid. All right, now how do I solve my proportion, Brantley? Garrett, how do I solve a proportion? Cross multiply. Good job, Mrs. Cheney. Well done. So three t or root two times c equals what? So root two c equals what's three times root six? Now what do I do? What? I gotta get c by itself. What do I do? By? by both sides by the square root of 2. That would make that 1 
So 1c is just c. We did it. But now i got to divide this side by root 2, right? So now what do you guys want to do? There's two ways I could do this. I could times, it's called rationalizing the denominator. Remember, I can't have a square root of my denominator. So I could times both numerator and denominator by root 2, right? And then simplify it and go. Or, in this case, I could just sit here and take that 3 root 6 and write it as 3 root 3 times root 2. And then put that over root 2. So now these would cancel out, right? So my final answer would be 3 root 3. So now if this was a test, what could I do to guarantee myself that I did this right? Go back to the very beginning and plug it in and see. So if I go root 2 over 3, that should equal root 6 over 3 root 3. Wow. How am I going to check this? Could I just type it in a calculator, you think? Yeah. Let's try that. That would be the simplest way if it works, right? So second square root of 2, close my parenthesis, divided by 3 equals about 0.47. Whoa, stop that. 0.4714. And then if I take square root of 6 and divide that by 3 root 3, I get the same thing. 0.4714. So it works, right? That would be my answer. You okay on that? Cross multiplying. Proportions. We cross multiply to solve proportion. What is a proportion? Miriam, what is a proportion? What? No, that's proportional. What is proportion? What is the definition of proportion? Bo, what's the definition of proportion? Skyler, what's the definition of proportion? Very good. I take two fractions, set them equal to each other. Proportion. Hey, what? What? 